Well, the field is set for the men's NCAA tournament, so it's time to go dancing. Yes, it is. It's also time to get your brackets ready. Tournament action starts Thursday, and you can see first-round games right here on Channel 3 starting on Friday. And two local teams are in the men's field, UConn and the Hartford Hawks. Joe Zone is back right now with more details on the matchups coming up there. Hi, Joe. Hi, Mark. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, we knew that uh, you know, the University of Hartford was going to be in. They won their conference tournament. It's an automatic buy. And we also knew that the UConn men had a good shot based on their season-long resume. As it turned out, UHart was one of the first team revealed in the television show, and UConn was one of the last. Here's the way it played out. It didn't take long for the University of Hartford to find out what winning the American East Conference gets you. They showed up early and in the very first match, a Friday afternoon game against a number one seed, Baylor. I asked UHart coach John Gallagher about how long the celebration lasts and the daunting game prep begins. I think when they first go on the court for 10 minutes, I'll let them enjoy themselves and embrace it and smell the gym. And, and then we're just going to, we're going to bring it in and I'm going to address them like, you know, the teams that get in trouble in these tournaments are the ones that are just happy to be here. And uh, if you know anything about my personality, um, we're just not going to be happy to be here. As for the Huskies, they had to wait around in their hotel in New York where they had settled in after the Big East tournament until one of the last matchups showed up. The Huskies will play Saturday against Maryland. UConn is built for March. This is where we belong, and this is us. Like this is our identity. Like this is this is when we we thrive. Like, this is this is our time of the year, and we just want to go out there and put on a show and make fans proud. Both teams are headed to Indianapolis, where they will stay until they lose. Think about that. April 2nd, the end of the NCAA tournament, at least that weekend. And by the way, same thing for the women. We find out where they go tonight. They make a deep run. They're going to be on the road for almost three straight weeks. We're live here in Farmington, where I just got my second COVID shot. Joe Zone, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.